Oh, I, I enjoyed the game. I thought it was. Uh, I thought we played really well first half. Uh, start of the second half as well. Of course, always in pre-season when you start making changes, the rhythm of the game and the tempo changes. So it, it's a different game. But I still really enjoyed the kids going out there trying. But um, and Andreas' goal, we can just pack pack the competition in. That's the goal of the season for us. That's uh, if anyone. I dare anyone to do a better one, but the, the problem is if I do, then everyone will try to do it. So I was thinking, Andreas, take it down and uh, uh, play, but it's such a strike, magic. Did I ask about Raphael Varane? Uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Just what I asked about Raphael. Sorry. Feedback. Um, what the situation? What you're looking forward to having him? I guess. What What will he bring, quality wise? Of course, uh, very happy with um, that we've uh, managed to get the deal with the Real Madrid. Medical should hopefully be okay, and uh, he's he's a proven winner. He's uh, he's a player that uh, we've we've followed for many many years, uh, and we hoped. Uh, I know Sir Alex was very very close to signing him, or um, so um, this time around we've got a. Got him at the the other end of his career. He's proved uh, over his old career what good a person he is. First of all, professional, and he's won what there is to win. Sammy Hi, Ole. Um, just a bit more on Rafael. Uh, you saying about his presence there? Do you think, even though he's had a great career at Real Madrid, getting him now? With his stature, what he's won is exactly what the dressing room needs. In that there's a proven winner there. I'm very happy uh, getting uh, both uh, our players in. The club, first of all, the club shows ambition uh, with w one of the most exciting young forwards in in world football and one of the most uh, uh, respected centre backs in the world and one of the most winning centre-backs in the world. He's got, um, with him in, of course, we've, we've got different ways of playing as well. We've got, um, uh, I can see different ways of playing with uh, with Rafael. Uh, can't wait to get him in. Hopefully we can we can get that sorted as soon as. Sam is there. Um, just on the... Um, with the guidance changing on um, quarantining, will that speed up the process for Varane getting his medical? Uh, from what I know, uh, the, the club is working on the, the, the quickest possible solution uh, to uh, get everything sorted. So I, I don't know the time scale on it yet. Then the latest, uh, of course, there's a visa com having coming uh, into. Uh, to England now with the, with Brexit and the quarantining, so everything has to be done as quick as possible. But um, by the book. Um, and Oli, just on a, a different note, there was some guidance issued today um, by the Premier League and the FA and the Football League in terms of the heading uh, of the ball in training. I don't know if you've seen it. Or yes, I have. Yeah. What What do you think about that? Hmm. Uh, what can I say? Of course, it's it's hard to monitor and it's hard to implement. Uh, if, if you stop uh, someone, uh, you can. It's hard to count how how many headers a player has done from across uh, in a week. Uh, ball uh, technology. It's light. It's a lighter ball, but of course, it's a, it's a terrible. Terrible disease we're talking about as well. Uh, if it's related to to dementia uh, with loads of headings, so of course it's a it's an issue that uh, we take seriously. Um, but it's not something I've I've spent too much time on uh, thinking since it came. I, I was just thinking it might be difficult to uh, to Im implement. But we we'll, we all try to make football as safe as possible anyway, and uh, for uh, for everyone. So um, hopefully. Uh, we we can find a solution to all that because we it's been uh, proven and uh, a fact that so, some players have uh, have suffered from from this terrible disease. <coughs> Sorry.
Sorry, that was Karen. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. Um, Hi. Can I just ask you about Jaden and Raphael getting them in early in the transfer window? What does that mean for you as a manager, being able to sort of hopefully work with them in pre-season before the first game of the season? Well, I think, as I've said before, every every manager would be uh, happy the sooner and earlier the, the the deals are done. And this year we've we managed to get it sorted. Uh, I think you know the two we've got in will make a, a huge difference for us uh, both this season, short term, but also long term. Um, Rafael is into his prime as a centre back. I have to say, age group is the same age as uh, as Harry, a year older than Eric, and uh, and a couple of years older than Victor. So there, I've got a fantastic group of centre backs, and with Jaden as well, um, with the young forwards we've got. This is exciting. It's 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 as a manager, you uh, you can't ask for uh, for more backing uh, when you've got these uh, these two in as early as we have. We've we've scrambled before towards the end of the window, and now I, I think we're um, I have to say we're um, we're in a good position. Pre season is always difficult though in in a championship year. Never mind in the pandemic with with the quarantining and isolation. So you can see the team tonight. Uh, there's loads of youngsters still. Everyone who's worked pre-season has done really well. And now they're coming in creeps and drabs and we haven't got time to play catch-up. So um, whoever's turning up late and don't get a proper pre-season or not fit when, when, they, when they come in, they, they might struggle to get into the team because today was a, a very good performance. Hi Oli, um, after the QPR game on Saturday you spoke about Alanga and his future. Uh, he obviously yeah. scored a pretty good goal again tonight and you said if he carried on the way he is then you may have no choice other than to keep him and not send him out on loan. Uh, is he giving you a little bit of a headache for this situation? <laughs> He's giving me a great uh, problem if you like. Because as you say, players who score goals players who've got that enthusiasm, players who's got that energy. We want to play a pressing game and is there's, there's no frills. There's, if you ask him to, at half time, run over to the cricket ground and get us a drink, he'd do it. Because he's that type of lad and that's the type that's he's been brought through in the academy. And these are the boys you love to see do well. You know, as a manager, you and they give you reasons to like them, they give you reasons to play them, you, you'll have to play them. Hi Ollie. Hi. Um, I know Ahmed's away at the Olympics at the moment, but I just wondered what are your plans for him this season? Is he someone you want around the first team or do you think he'd benefit more from a loan move? No, well, every, we, we use every single player, we, we think about every single players and the clubs, of course, uh, uh, best pathway and what's the best for this season, what's best for the future. Ahmad's enjoying the Olympics and we'll sit down towards the end of the window and to see how we are. Of course, Elanga, the decision on him is, is a big one. Uh, Marcus Rashford, uh, what's this, this injury status? So we'll make a decision on Ahmad uh, when he comes back and sit down with him. Hi, hi Ali. You just mentioned Marcus there. Has the club made a decision yet about whether he has an operation or you let sort of nature heal his injury itself? And sort of. Yeah, when... be... Hold on. Sorry, follow up, sorry. Yeah, and the follow up was just going to be have you decided yet which of your players will be available for the Leeds game? You know, the, the England guys and, and the Euro guys who come back next week. Have you decided yet whether they will be available for Leeds or if you'll let them have a longer rest? Yeah, you know, uh, first with Marcus, that's, uh, we'll probably make a decision in the next few days when we uh, check him up uh, again, uh, the last like, decision, decision making. Uh, what's best for him and best for the club has to be uh, uh, considered. And with the boys who've not come back yet, I don't know. I, I haven't got a scooby-doo on how they are. Um, uh, fitness wise uh, of course it's everyone's due in monday for training 
and then we've got two weeks. So that, that means they've had three weeks since the last game. Uh, Fred, Cup America and the English uh, fin finalists. So we'll we'll see how they are, uh, what fitness levels they're, they're at, because um, it's, it's down to them, what they've done during the holidays as well. I can't just throw them in if it's not safe or if they're not fit enough. Okay, last question, Simon Dean. Hi, Kenobi. I just wanted to ask about the centre back situation and what what's the situation with Phil Jones and his availability and, and maybe his future and there's links of Axel Twanzavi going out on loan. Is that a possibility? Yeah, uh, I can see, uh, of, of course, with uh, Rafael uh, looking like everything's sorted there and we, we made that deal, I can see Axel uh, going out. That's because. I've got Rafael, uh, as I said before, we've got uh, Varane, Maguire, uh, Lindelof, Eric Bailly and Phil Jones is coming back in, he's due to start training over the weekend when we've uh, uh, when we got everyone in on Monday, which is uh, a big plus for him. I've, I've had similar uh, troubles in my career and he's such a professional good lad and it is great to see him uh, ready to train again, so hopefully Jonah can uh, can just get game or first of all training with us and then game time soon because uh, just if you can play in uh, the 23s to start with or reserves or we can arrange some uh, behind closed doors for him because I know exactly the feeling uh, being out for so long you just want to feed away in and he's he's always served the club and, uh, and it was time for him to uh, to look after himself and his own health but now he's he's ready to train with us. Okay, thanks.